아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아
like architecture is of like war, staircase, like windows, like those things. And we love like clarity and creativity in architecture, like which are like really like bold ideas, sometimes really aggressive and childish. And it should be physically exist. And we believe something can be written and visible is only exist. If you cannot make it in one sentence or translate into one word, really hard and impossible, we believe that that is not exist anymore. Like it should be in literally one sentence or like word itself and drawing, like plan section. It should be shouting, like drawing should be tell you something. Like that's what we trying to do. And so for the form, we thought like form is like can be translated into many ways. Like it can be shape, composition, or sometimes it can be like material or furniture is form as well. And last year, we wanted to focus on only the shape of the architecture under the topic, a single room for 10,000 people. This year, on the contrary, we want to focus on like composition only, hierarchy of the rooms and order of the sequence, like those things. So, oh. like, Bigness is not only about volume of the building, and but also the gathering itself. And gathering represents the specific rituals and power as well. Like from Rukrovizia to Ram Kulhas, bigness was the one of the main dream of the architecture. But however, the fact that the number of unrealized work is greater than realized ones, shows that bigness is the unrealized desire or the unfinished task of architecture. So bigger things means bigger authority and power. So we were interested in like huge large scale mega structure last year because we thought that is the way to express the shape in architecture in easy way, not as a like, aesthetic ways to defining the activities and rituals of the space. So these mega structures contain social demands and human desire, like publicness, technology, power, capital, society, future, and zeitgeist. All of these words can be translated into bigness. But today when the gathering is forbidden and the bigness collapsed because of COVID situation, we thought this is the right moment to discover this discourse because we cannot gather anymore. In our point of view, treating the form of gathering can be a way to find the role of the architect in post COVID world. And we thought that that is the most responsible for the architect as well in this situation now. So form of gathering, what we tried to discuss was a single big room. Contrary to this year, last workshop was not only about composition and configuration of space, by proposing a new shape of architecture, we believe that we can understand and define the rituals and certain activities in this space. We wanted to find out a new form that can reflect the post COVID world to define a new way of gathering and it can be extended to like architecture with, with thought in many ways. So the proposal student made my seems like really like radical, simple and aggressive and childish as well, but we thought that is really bold and creative way and to show our idea. 
and we thought that kind of aggressive way of just to making a paper architect for now is to which can change the rules. We want to treat the form and architecture to change the rule, not just to in making more beautiful, like pretty object. The form itself should change the rule. So we started from unbuilt project, which are, were like unrealized desire of the architect. And, and we call them like unchosen mutation. It was not fit in that era, but still they have the like desire and like zeitgeist of the that time. And we thought to researching and start analyzing these kind of unbuilt project, there must be some values we missed, and then we can bring that into our new proposal for this era. So these are the list for research project we gave it to student. And this time, it's at the same way, we gave the film and movie list to our student. And we thought on build project and film shares really a lot because both way is unrealized. And both of them is like having so much strong ideas of the director or architect as well. Because like when you build project, like building something like there are so many demands coming together, like clients and like all the regulation or things. But with this unbuilt, unrealized dream, we only can get like idea of the desire. Like, and we thought that is kind of interesting point to bring, build up to the next hour proposal. So stadium and theater, like, Mr. Fuller's like Dodger Storm, really like huge, like one, and some of like suburban set by Ron Heron and like just huge billboard by Ventry, or like Michael Webb's like student proposer, and it's a little bit hard to see in the John Olson's like stadium, which can be extended like on limits and unlimitedly like, and this was like built one, a few of them is built. Like Sana, Salmir, Theater, OMA, Saitama, Arena, and like Sosas, Planet as a festival, like Ruiz Bullis, Metropolitan Church, or like Foxhole by Arbus Pier. And like Philip, this is also built as well. Philip Johnson's Crystal Cathedral and Fun Palace. Like Ishigami is like church and valley and some of Alice Peters and Simis church and some of like ancient building as well. And the park. And plaza as well. So we analyze like this kind of unbuilt project and then each student propose a new type of form and the way of gathering together. I, we thought like the form is the same gathering and, and in the center of Seoul to show the like what is like social demands in Korea and Seoul right now. And in this step, we ask students to produce a, a single drawing and a single collage image. And as I mentioned before, like each drawing and each collage image should tell something. And the reason why we're doing only one drawing and one image also is because of the, this workshop is too short. And, but the other one is like, we want them to make it in, in, in a word not to describe like, like not in a like fully paragraph thing, like just a one drawing can show everything. So this is the work of the student. Hajin studied like Metropolitan Church by Ruiz Bole and proposed a Gwangamun Square filled with a number of columns. So if you see like they're full of columns is blocking all the plaza and 
this project was like criticizing the role of plaza in Seoul, which is like using further like political issues to scale it down. It. So Hyunsung analyzed like symmetry by Antonio Monestroli and suggests like outdoor Korea sauna spot in Han River. So like water is coming in and they're using to bring it Han River as like seashore. And because of COVID situation, the that time sauna was forbidden, kind of forbidden. That, that's why this kind of project came. Right? And Jungmin chose a plaza proposed by Sana and proposed a like really romantic project, which is like making a mountain at the center of Seoul, because this area was full with political issues. It's, now is decide to build Egoni Museum, like art museum there, like which who was like owner of Samsung. But that place was like full of so many issues. So like just strongly decide to make it like beautiful mountain there. And Yusuf studied the like giant dome of Hitler by Albert Speer and turned it to floating concert hall in the sky of Seoul. Union chose a theater by Sana, which was the only built project in our unit, and proposed a kindergarten with extremely low ceiling that only children can get entered because of COVID. And Doha started border crossing by office Kirsten Gears, and he proposed like surrounded surround Seoul with giant gigantic wall. So other cannot get into Seoul without this courtyard. So this was like quarantine center with beautiful like garden inside. So I, I will really love this image, like really beautiful on the ground, but like see the sky with something happening. And Kyungmin chose like entertainment palace by Michael Webb and proposing like driving through shopping mall. So you don't need to touch and like just moving with this marble arch, you can pass it with a coffee and get can McDonald's or something like that. And Jungje chose Saitam Arena by Boy Ming and designed like underground sunken prison to open and everyone can see how it like jails can be new way. To point one out, um, that image is made before speaking. Okay. That image was made before Squid Game was out. Yeah, yeah before mm -hmm. the Squid Game. After like Squid Game kind of shows that like some kind of something like so we thought like this is kind of interesting. And if he studied high rise of homes by James White and propose a, a skeleton hotel that doesn't have any hotel rooms. So there is a tent there. <clears throat> and ji chose amusement park. Oh, no, sorry. ji analyzed like suburban set by Ron Heron and then proposed like giant billboard that is framing landscape so. So this kind of like just framing landscape is a kind of joy of like for the citizen to amusement park. So, and luckily ji came to our unit again this year. So maybe we'll do better project. <laughs> and sang chose a church by Junya Ishigami and designed like outdoor nightclub, which can be visited in the daytime as well. With the high wall is still getting really dark inside. And then in the center of Gangnam district. And Hojun started Fun Palace by Cedric Price and proposed like a new type of co-working platform that controlled by rotating staircases. So staircase is keeping rotating and they're managing the number of the people can get to that each rooms. So these are like 12 ideas from our unit last year and then 12 drawings. Yeah, thank you.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hi everyone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ah. uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Dongyun, who is the teacher of the Unit 4. So, I would like to uh, present some of my uh, work, which is called the uh, Machine Intelligence in Architecture. So, in this a uh, short uh, presentation, I, I wanted to show you how um, architects could utilize this the machine learning technology in our the design process. And uh, I, I hope you can feel some, uh, what's the future of the uh, AI in the architecture and what you could do with this uh, cutting edge technology. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So I just uh, bring this the three project. So the first one is the place making AI, and the second one is sketch to building. So this is a pretty simple the project. Um, just user draws a sketch, and then the machine learning model visualizes it with some of the material or some of the visual the context. And then the last project uh, was our the. Uh, final output of the last year is the AA visiting school. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's like <laughs> my, um, this computer is a little bit struggling. <laughs> So uh, this, this project is a uh, place making AI, a design tool uh, made to envision the sustainable urban spaces. So by converging uh, this again with real-time user, the interface, the process of the uh, planning uh, future urban spaces and streets can be facilitated. So the contribution of this the framework is a shift away from the traditional design and visualization process and toward a model uh, based on accessibility, uh, collaboration, and increased user agency. So several metrics of the workability uh, can be embedded within the training data set, expanding the role of the designer uh, beyond the data uh, collection in modifying and generating synthetic images in real time. So the initial the ambition is to speculate the use of the real-time prototyping tool to be used as a platform for citizen designers 
and the city stakeholders to have some the meaningful conversation on improving the quality of the uh, urban environment in in trends. So while the term walkability adopts a broad spectrum of metrics, uh, I firstly established the junk the criteria and then divided these the data set into two separate two. So these the selected images were uh, firstly chosen to consistently uh, satisfy some of the larger concept of the uh, enclosure, uh, human scale, transparency, uh, some linkage, complexity, and coherence that contains a lively uh, urban the atmosphere. Then two separate data sets were created, which user can choose from. So data set A, the left one, uh, green, green spaces contains more the green street scenery with tree plants and low level the greenery. And then data set B, the pedestrian uh, data commercial contains lively pedestrian, pedestrian only street with commercial frontage kiosk or uh, restaurant or cafe. So um, picks to picks and cycle again were chosen as a GAN model. And this image shows some of the training results from uh, different epochs. So as the training runs, diverse urban spaces features based on training data set emerged and were synthesized with the current uh, street. And based on its training set and GAN architecture, the model generate uh, different images with the same input. And basically, uh, pixel kits shows more the realistic results than cycle again. And while cycle again uh, could be used to envision some of the unexpected results. And these results will demonstrate the role of the training set and how it has an impact on the results. For example, green model shows more the dye. Uh, diverse and vivid tree color, while pedestrian model reveals a commercial scenery, which allows us to imagine different feeling in current environment. And then, um, well, <laughs> and then the last step uh, was to create some the real time neural rendering in grasshopper environment. So peaks to peaks and of cycle again, run in backend simultaneously. So it helps designer envision and develop their idea in real time. And it also reacts with 3D model directly. So it can create some infinite feedback loop between the users and GAN models. And this could be an example of the future AI that can collaborate with a human in real time. And this is the second the project. So the initial idea of this the project started with the fact that um, the architects start from the sketch when designing a building. So sketch is like three very simple and very easy way to express one's thoughts. But there's a limitation, for example, is it is like pre abstract and mainly focuses on the form only. So due to these uh, inherent limitations, it is not easy uh, to imagine and communicate with some of the real the building through only sketches. So wouldn't it be great if I could create a tool that uses artificial intelligence to convert these sketches into some of the real uh, world building images to help architects um, develop their the initial idea. So like, uh, by directional communication with a machine when I draw a sketch and the AI visualize how uh, the sketch is actually the, the visualized. And then I, and then also I, uh, based on the return, the result from the AI, I could also change the sketch a little bit more. And then the AI also visualize it again. So this uh, process could be said like, the collaboration of the human and the architects and AI. So uh, to do that, uh, for training, I basically need a pair of the data set which are real images and the sketches. So if the training will be successful, AI will generate these the real images based on my input sketches. So the most important part here was to was how to create the sketches. 
This is because it takes like so much time to draw all the sketches manually. And there are some, yeah, the problem that is, if I wanted to add some of the new training data set, I should create also the, the corresponding sketches as well manually. So to tackle this uh, problem, uh, I made some of the automated the script to get catch like uh, this result from the real images. And these are the, for example, I was able to utilize. So the key to this project was to automate the sketch generating process and to get a sketch uh, that is similar to an actual user drawn sketches. So firstly, uh, I trained the model with the HEB sketch and here are some of the results. So the result was the pretty good, but I felt that it was like unrealistic for real users to draw this kind of the detail in the sketch. And I felt that the sketch needed to be a little bit more simplified. And in addition to that, HD method did not create a single outline. The outline from the HD had a different thickness, which uh, act as very important variables uh, when generating the result. So for example, uh, I just traced is the original the image to use them as a sketches and fed them into the AI, the model to see the results. And then the result was not that great since there was some the discrepancy between the trained sketches and actual the user drawn sketches. So it would, would, it would not be easy for the users to control the sequence while they sketch. So I decided to use a different method, which was Kenyatch detection. So after extracting the outline from the Kenny, I added the Gaussian blur to simplify it and make it look like a user does sketches. So as you can see here, as the Gaussian value increased, the number of the lines to be filters also the increased, and then finding these the optimal values. Uh, finding optimal the variables that maintain some of the meaningful lines, but remove some of the unnecessary the lines was pretty important part in this process. And architecture can be uh, divided into two parts, which are the exterior and interior, and they have some of the different the spatial the configuration and the characteristics. So I also made some the exterior model and interior model separately. So interior model, so in interior model, two sketches which were uh, drawn by is the automatic edge detection approach, and then my domainal sketch were also fed it into the AI model, and then it the generate the generated results were pretty pleasing. And although uh, there were some the differences between these the two results but the AI seems to learn some of the shading of the spaces based on the light in both model. And it was also interesting to see some of the elements such as windows or doors showing the continuity of the light coming from the outside. And this is some of the spatial the continuity. On the exterior part, it also seems to capture the characteristics that appeared in the exterior images only, such as recognizing this sky and some of the grass or ground and expressing some of the dark is the area where light uh, did not come through. And then here's some of the example of the images uh, predicted by the training, the model and actual the images. So the predicted image were a little bit low and more the abstract, but it seems that this um, uncertainty uh, could be like useful in the early the design stage to uh, develop on the idea. And these the malleable, um, malleable potential rather than on um, immutable, the final as a final product is one of the main the, uh, the advantages we AI could be utilized in this the creative area. And moving a little bit further, what I was uh, most inter interested in was 
Is it possible to observe some new options based on what I've sketched? For example, rather than just simply simply converting one to one sketch and images, image image translation, can I traverse um, in between generated images, like from here to here? So I don't want to talk about like all the technical the details, but oh. <laughs> but yeah, this is the result. So it might be uh, very useful if I want to observe some of the intermediate the result uh, between the architects, for example, uh, Zaha Hadid sketch and some of the Frank Gehry sketches, for example. So I could like observe some of the in between, like the half and half Zaha and Frank Gehry or like half and half the Zaha and like Gorbije, something like And last, not least, and this, the research that focuses on uh, creating the design, the outputs that counter modern architects, uh, homogenizing the forces that generate the, is the, all the old urban the conditions assimilating um, one another at the cost of the individual local the context. So this is the AI model called the Stagen. Uh, participant of this the workshop were uh, asked to to create some of the two specific data set. One of the typical architecture, uh, like generate the utilitarian architecture, and another of the on typical architecture, uh, traditional the Korean the architecture. So the key features were uh, extracted from each data set and then were later combined to create a new design output that could suggest more the diverse the possible the trajectory for the current mode of the architecture practice. So the basic idea was to utilize this the Sagan model as an incubator to generate some of the mutated the result from this the two uh, different uh, data sets. So by combining two different data sets, uh, Stalgen model showed, showed various the results, some of which were more the similar to Korea uh, traditional the architecture and vice versa. And these students predict that is the high endness in architecture enables architecture concept to be carried forth without the uh, consent constraint on available the materials and craftsmanship. Therefore, uh, the images, both the hand of interior and the modern the interior were uh, to displace a sense of this the high endings. And then also they saw that these the process were pretty similar to the process of the making cocktail and meat uh, like extracting some the features from the images and then mixing them to create uh, new architectural typologies. And then start and generate the images from the combined data set of the typical architecture and untypical architecture. And it showed the undetermined visual the elements uh, that could be interpreted freely uh, in association with uh, the surrounding spaces. So it is like a little bit blurry the created visual the elements provided some the association with what students understood to be an elements of the Hano or the modern interior. And these elements were then used in the design process to outline uh, a series of the new spaces that combine Hano interior to modern interior. And also they juxtapose it is the old Korean uh, image. And interestingly, they were merged with this uh, general the images quite well, creating some of this new scenery. And to expand the idea to three-dimensional, uh, they extracted 3D spatial characteristics from the image inversely and reinterpret them through uh, 3D modeling. And some examples. And interestingly, interesting thing uh, was that by reinterpreting, reinterpreting uh, generated images, we could witness what 
um, we never recognize before. And it strongly depends on the individuals, the background and experiences. So that means um, their own the experiences can be also used to reinterpret the, these the images and this the ability also pretty uh, important to actually see the result from the AI. So this, this is also very like important uh, ability we, if we wanted to use this the new cutting edge technology. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, yep. I thought I'm sure you were also present. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So cool. Uh, thank you very much for sharing exciting work. Um, we are going to have a little bit of Q and A in discussion session. Yeah, and open for questions. So yeah, we have our presenters here, and any tutors can also answer, discuss. Yeah. But any questions or observation, comments about anything about their work, about the workshop? And this is very casual talk. Yeah, very casual. If you feel like, oh, I don't like this part, let's get it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's only day one, and you'll see, you'll slowly kind of understand uh the differences will like kind of get more pronounced I, I feel like yeah any question from zoomers Quiet time. Are you guys meeting up here tomorrow? Tomorrow, oh, um, we just decided to, so you see another small room next to uh, where you, you guys are waiting today. Mm -hmm. So we will do a quick group tutorial there mm -hmm. and then it's very, it's closer to the studio. So it's easier. So you don't have to come here tomorrow. You can go to the studio. All right, seems like there's no question. <laughs> All right, dinner time. <laughs> cool, we can continue the discussion over the course of the next few days, yeah. So cool, thank you so much for your presentations, yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, oh, to, uh, un until what time they can work in the studio? Do you? Hmm? <laughs> 24 hours? 24 hours? Yeah, but I think the front, front door will be locked after yeah. 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. or yeah. something. But, um, or well, some of the some of our students has got the ID card yeah. that we can open the door. Yeah. Maybe I think the older unit each unit has got at least one our graduate students who's got the access to the studio space and the front door as well. So yeah. We can so can we maybe have those students kindly introduce yourself? So I am uh <laughs> Yonsei yeah, University yeah, students. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you can contact me for opening. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. So these these students are from the grad school in Yonsei University. They will be here and uh you know be our <laughs> Yeah, so if you need to if something is locked or yeah, you need some kind of help 
yeah, look for these people. Yeah, if if you don't find us, okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck for your rest of the workshop. I'll see you tomorrow at nine. So unit four, uh, let's meet the studio, and I think unit four, let's have a very quick talk, like thirty minutes. So uniform, let's meet at uh soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna join through Zoom. Yeah. <laughs>